Welcome back to the Commissar Show. I'm still sick, and I'm still tired, and we're still playing this dumbass game. And we're getting our ass handed to us by the Baptists and the aliens. Same shit that happened in the Lost episodes. Brennan seems to be doing fantastic up in his top right corner there. He's got six bases from what I can see. Uh, the Morganites have expanded over there, which is great. Let's, we got an interlude here. Let's take a read. In the darkness, something goes and you are lying on your back on a hillside among the soft orange and purple tendrils of a vast fungal forest. The sound of running water gurgles loudly in the vicinity of your right ear, but you cannot identify the source. Panic rises briefly in your throat as you realize you have no filter mask or oxygen tank, dressed only in your work suit, but breath comes easily as you detect no signs of nitrogen narcosis. From somewhere, a voice seems to whis whisper, Earth Kristoff, but perhaps it is only the breeze. Time passes and you notice that the fungus is growing perceptibly, the spores gently nudging you as they slowly stretch and twist. Fungal bloom! Panic returns to full force as you struggle to free yourself from the encroaching tendrils. Earth Kristoff, the voice again, more insistent. The tendrils break and you are free, dashing across an endless field of purple and orange. Earth Kristoff, beware! From close behind you and then... Discontinuity. In the darkness, something goes and you are lying on your back in the gene therapy tank, the gauzy restraints slowly retracting. The remaining fluid in the tank gurgles away through the tubes behind your head, and you slowly sit up. Four weeks of, li four weeks of your life, once every ten years you spend in this, t in this state. A small price to pay for immortality, or something close to it. A half-remembered dream tugs at you as you pull on a clean work suit, but you cannot recapture it. Ooh, interesting. Now the planet is talking to us. It wants something. What does it want? Perhaps it wants us to wipe out the Baptist fucking scum! Let's call up Beyonce. How is she doing? She's still around. I can see her base. How come I lost comlink with her? I mean, I don't think I can regain it because she's so far away. But she's there. There's her, there's her town. It's purple. And Morgan has a base. He's got a couple of bases stashed away, so that's good that he's he's staying strong. Okay, Chaos Skip Ship. Good. Good, good, good. Everything seemed to get a lot better once I put these things on the Conquer status. What do the aliens want? They're threatening me. Fuck you! Do your worst, you fuckface. Yeah, 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 yeah! Alright, guys. We won the first Nautilus battle of victory. And Queen Bee Beyonce won the first planetary battle. Good for you, Beyonce. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The, uh, the religious faction, in my opinion, anyways, is among. is among one of the more broken factions in the game. And that's due to the fact that uh, they have like a 75% bonus to offensive. Um, it's just offensive movements. Like every time they attack something, their their units are just a shitload stronger. Um, and unfortunately because of this, they are incredibly hard to defend against, and they are incredibly powerful in invading uh, enemy enemies. Just, just military-wise, they're pretty much the best faction. Even though there is a faction in this game, the Spartan faction, that is all about military. But just these guys, you know, their ignorance makes them incredibly powerful. Let's just put it that way. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. Um, We'll just we'll just go down this rabbit hole. Look at look at how many towns Brendan has. He's doing fantastic up here in his top right corner. And I'm getting my shit handed to me. I think we just ended up fucked from the very start because we were in between so many hostile factions. Because the believers are notorious for being able to be reasoned with. At least from what I can tell, they are also fighting the aliens, so there's a a bit of hope there. God, you guys, I don't know. 
I mean, when my capital gets taken over, I will get a bunch of colony pods from it, so I'll, I'll have a chance to settle somewhere else. But um, I I don't see I don't see me being able to come back from a loss that's that's this heavy. We'll try our best, of course, and I hope you guys are behind me on this. But I uh, don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's let's try attacking my my town again. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Yeah, great. Oh, I captured this transport foil. Okay, great. We got Port Svensis back. We'll rename it. Great. I felt your belief behind me, fellow viewers. I felt it. And it gave me the strength I needed to carry on. Let's see if we can capture my other town back. Oh good, the aliens are getting killed by the natives. That's always wonderful to see. Good, 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 good. Now we have advanced on atomic theory. Shall we upgrade? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, what did what did he want me to do? Um No drones power punishment sphere. Um let's go for doctrine initiative so we can get better. Uh, land units. Switch to main screen. Yeah, she's... Sh she knows she's fucked because I'm capturing my things back. Oops, that wasn't good. See, colony pod? Get your shit together. We're gonna build more chaos skim ships. Let's queue another one on there. And then if I find she has any, uh... Yeah, loaves and fishes. See that place? That place is going to be mine. I'm going to take it over. I'm going to make it my bitch. Oh, God. Um, um, garrison, garrison, garrison. Three res garrison, three res sentinels. I don't know what ECM is, but sure, let's go for that. Fuck! Okay, we've got to build another chaos skim ship. Let's hurry it up. Can't, can't hurry it. Not enough money. She's not too fantastically strong when it comes to being defensive, like I said earlier. So I can actually do this. I can take back my stuff. But unfortunately, it works the same way. It works. The university losses the loss. The peacekeepers are attacking Brendan. Okay, I got my town back. Great. Let's go back and try to capture this spot. Ah, oh. fuck! Come on, place is trading hands faster than a fucking white girl and a black man gang. But no, okay, we're not going there. Delete that. Edit it out. Uh, I know it's not gonna get edited out. At least you know that I'm not sincere when I say that kind of stuff. Fuck! No. The line of aliens marching into Helmus looked like ants, but ants that advance with malice, ready to consume whatever gets in their way. You watch them cut through Helmus's defenses and take heart at the and take heart at the specks of humanity fleeing in all directions, refugees that might survive this onslaught. You watch for a moment and then continue punching through the archival tapes, the final transmissions of your loyal lieutenants at Helmus. At least what were your loyal lieutenants. The final transmissions from Helmus show the full story. Humans rounded up and pounded to the ground with strange alien resonance attacks. Visions of the alien advance guard, their weird tall forms seeming to push through the very structure of the walls in the base. The humans dying in the hallways, clutching their faces, their heads, their bellies, and then that one quick flash from those three visiting hollow journalists that ran down the wrong hall with their hat and a camera. Apparently they were filming Blair Witch. You review their transmission again, almost against your will. When that door hope when that door opened, to see all those humans lying on the floor like stacked wood, their bodies altered into a strange jelly like substance, and that terrifying image of one living human with his face in the corner as the aliens cubed the corpses on the floor and loaded them into wet containers. They're harvesting us for biomatter because they're assholes. Then the camera falls and cuts out. 
You can feel your jaw clenching against anger and against fear. Looks like the aliens don't want to be friends. Oh, now you find out the aliens don't want to be friends. Fuck you. Alright, at least I got 4%. That's a bit better than last time. A bit better than 1%. So now we have, uh, we must consent 100 surefire pickup lines of Commissar Kristoff. And we also have, for I have tasted the fungus, <laughs> why Commissar Kristoff can't blink. It's because I suck at let's plays, guys. Don't, don't harsh my vibe, Jesus. And also the big book of recycling tanks humor, well, that you always get that regardless of how bad you do. And uh, that's it. That's that's the world map. That's the status of things. There's my 1% from before. You can see uh, the map is not as advanced. And this one here, a bit more vision. I guess this is, I guess it's the difficulty rating. Um, usually I just play on the, the medium, which is, I think, called Citizen or some shit like that. Um, I think I will come back to this at some point. Um, maybe we'll, we'll play some more Quake 2, because I did want to beat that at some point. I mean, technically this is a, an ending to the game, so you do get to read something. And, um, you know, we might have better diplomatic relations in the future. We tried our best, you know, we, we had a little vision of the future, and uh, it didn't turn out so good. And um, we tried to remedy the situation by making allies. Uh, university was very helpful. Brennan, I'm glad you were here for me for this journey. Both you in spirit and you in this game were very helpful towards me. Um, Swaglord Denzel Washington, you know, he tried his best. He was a good buffer. Unfortunately, the combined forces of Dr. Akak and Ignoramus Bill just ended up being too much for the Pirate Lords. Here's a little replay. As you can see, I'm not on this map at all because I didn't control any land at all. And uh, that's it. Let's close it up. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great night. Manamana. 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 Manamana.